Hi everyone and welcome to another of my videos. Well, I'm tired and I'm uh, in real pain. I actually dropped a big, huge, heavy box on my fingers and I crushed some muscles. So I'm on painkillers, I'm tired, but excited because in front of me I do have plenty of makeup to play with, some new makeup, new releases, also all older releases that I haven't been able to try out before. Uh, let's just try this makeup, wear it the whole day and see what I like and what I don't like. So if you want to hear my thoughts about these products, see how I use them, if they work on my combination oily skin, I, all, I am 38 years old, I have wrinkles, I have everything, <laughs> a lot of things to cover on my face, but I'm excited to try this product, so let's dive in. I have a foundation from um, House of Labs, from Lady Gaga. I do have a shade 175 light neutral. Now I actually ordered this on the House of Labs website and I took that kind of match foundation match test and that's what came uh, as a yeah as a foundation for me. So I don't know if you can hear noises but my husband and my kids are building some furniture and uh, they are loud but I'm still want to film. Okay, I do have the House of Labs. What's this? This is the, I don't even remember what I, eye, Echo Eyeliner. Do you have eyeliner? I think this is in light shade. I think this is white, maybe, I don't know. Yes, it's a white one. Let's try that. And then I do have the powder. This is the, oh my arm, translucent powder. I also have the new Tarte Sculpt Tape Contour one and the brush. I also have Jacqueline, something from Jacqueline Hill Cosmetics, the foundation, eyeshadow primer, lipstick, lip liner. And I do want to try this. This is a newer, not the newest version, but newer version, newer from mascara from L'Oreal. This is their Pro XXL Extensions mascara. And I am excited to try, to try it. Let's start. To begin, I am going to go and use this eyeshadow primer from Jaclyn Hill. I'm obsessed with eyeshadow primers, but I'm also really picky. I do like them to have some coverage, but if they don't, they don't. Uh, I do prefer that, but it's not a deal breaker for me if, uh, if a primer doesn't have that. But I do want it to stay on my lids, the eyeshadow, the whole day, at least for 12 hours. Uh, oh, I need to... Oh, I, have, I can't use this hand because it's swollen. All of my fingers are swollen. My arms are swollen, but it hurts. Let's try this. Let's try this. Hmm, it looks like it does have some courage. I know this is not the oldest, what's called the oldest launch, but it's still something new for me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you already have it. Now, on this channel, we do talk about uh, truth. We, oh, we talk, speak truth about the products. Uh, I'm kind of ex ex actually tired of uh, influencers that are making up stuff that... Oh, I thought there was a mirror in here, but there is not. Let's see if I can find a mirror. Uh, that are tricking people. And here on my channel, we always speak truth because it's your money, spend it well, S don't buy products that everybody maybe likes, but it's actually a big lie and you will just get disappeared. There are some products that pe some people love, obsessed with, some people don't like, depending on the preference depending on what you are looking for, what kind of uh, skin you have, oily, dry skin, if you have texture or not. Okay, this primer feels really oily, uh, but I am going to work it in my fingers. I am going to set it and it's because I always set my primers. 
Or should I set one? Let's try this. Let's set one eye and uh, leave one eye as it is. I am going to go in with this House of Labs. This is a translucent powder. Be a blurring loose setting powder. I think they had different shades, but when it comes to primers, I use uh, primers powders, I usually go for translucent. Just because even if they are light, sometimes they make my foundation look too light. If they are maybe a little bit dark, they make my foundation look too dark. And I don't like, let's just say I prefer translucent powders. Regular packaging, it looks like this. It's drying down, but it's still not too dry. Going to use a brush. It's a very fine milk powder. So we are going to set one side. This side is set. So this palette has been out for a while and I do like it. I know some people think this first row is maybe too light, the three shades are, are very similar, but you know what? I still like this, uh, how it looks. I don't know how it wears, but still look like how this palette looks. I wish that it was a mirror in here. I can't hold this in my hand, but I'll take a picture of this palette and then I will insert I will insert what colors I use because I can't hold it in this hand. It hurts too much. So I will go in with shade Honey. That's light, really light pink and just dust it here above. I'm going to use it on this side where I didn't prime or set. I did prime, but I didn't set the primer. And then I will go, so Aki, only Yaki, Aki, can't pronounce it. Let's go in that as a transition shade. So this one is showing up and it kind of blends. I always wanted this palette. I do have these kind of shades, I think, in my collection. And I also bought a bold lip lipstick and lip liner from Jaclyn Hill. Now I usually don't go in for really bright pink, but I really loved how it looked online and the shade. Yes, won't pronounce it here, but this shade, I had to buy it. I had to buy it. I really had to buy it. Okay. So I really liked it. with the same, this color, with the same brush, I am going to go in Ray, Reiki or Reiki, Reiki, oh. Reiki. Mm -hmm, I don't know. And I will dip up the crease and take it a little bit above because I do have the dyes. And I want this shade to be visible when I look straight. Okay, we are going to go in in Bad Mousy. Oh, these names are really hard to pronounce. Ooh, that's pigmented. I like this color too cool brown. Oh, I love the texture. And I'm going to use my finger and go with French silk. Oh, that's nice. I thought it was more pink in the pan, but it's actually not. Like that, very wearable palette. Now we are going to go to the foundation. I am going to in with this foundation. This is the 175 Light Neutral. And some really, a lot of people like this foundation, but this foundation is definitely too dark for me. Um, the match thing on the website, it's, no, it's not good at all, but it is what it is. I am going to use it and maybe light it up with some I have a really light concealer. I have this Huda Beauty concealer that's a very light shade. So we're going to use that to light it up. But this is a clean cut edge long wearing foundation that delivers superior makeup perform performance without compromising your skin. Infused with 20 plus skincare ingredients, buildable medium coverage, luminous second skin finish. 
Shake well, blend onto clean moisturizing skin using the House Lab foundation brush or fingertips. I'm not going to go in and use House of Labs brush because I don't have, don't have it, but I will use fingertips and then we'll maybe go in with the sponge or I will go with the sponge later because usually I do use a sponge more than a foundation brush. You know what? I will go with this Huda Beauty brush. This is more for the cream contour, but I will use it as a foundation brush. We'll see, maybe. Use on one side with the brush and the other side with the fingers. We'll see. I'm going to go in with my milk primer because I know how that one is wearing. I do have a lot of new primers to try out, but let's, let's use one product at a time so we know how this is working, the foundation remember that I actually bought this a couple of months ago and this is the oh let me take out the product okay so this is the Trini London Merco Blur Lip and li what's called the lip and line filler and I've seen this on Instagram maybe 20 times a day this comes on into my on my uh, Instagram and I actually want to try this product it's it's supposed to be a blur product or blur, blur um, bomb that will make your lines disappear and pores and smooths everything so let's just use it it feels like a what it's called the tart primer let's see I'll use it on this side where we set this primer just to see if this is going to I'm not I don't want to mess use it on all of the face because of the foundation but I do want to try and see if this is actually doing what Trini is making us think it definitely minimized my pores I don't know if you can see it's not as shiny Instantly, instantly blur, blurs, so it does, but we'll see how it's going to wear under the foundation. So, so far so good. It's very light. I feel, I like how it minimizes my pores uh, and my fan lines, but we'll see how it's going to wear. I'm also going in with Becca and Smashbox under eye brightener. I like that one. Use it on my finger. I'm so sad I can't use both hands making so much noise. Okay, let's go in with the foundation. I'm going to shake it. Okay, so... Definitely too dark. There is one pump, almost like half a pump. Let's use the other half of pump. See if we need to build it up. So on this side, I'm going to try to use the hands. Oh, that's too dark, God. Definitely too dark of a color. But it, it is blending nice on the skin. Oh my God, so wrong color. Definitely covers a lot, medium coverage. So with the fingers, it <laughs> I look so funny. Uh, let's go in with the brush to see how it's going to... I feel like the... Our fingers definitely spreads this foundation a little bit better than the brush. I prefer fingers, but I am going to go in with the sponge. I prefer fingers, but I'm going to go in with the sponge and see how the sponge is going to spread the foundation. Maybe remove some excess. Oh, so wrong color, guys. Really wrong color, but... Or maybe buy a real light shade and mix these two. So I really like, oh my God, I really like how this is a 
my face looks beautiful with this foundation. I know the color looks terrible. I know the shade is terrible, but it blended really nice and it looks like my skin blended really, really nice. Oh, definitely medium coverage, but I enjoy this foundation. It lo looks like my skin. I know the color. I know it looks bad with the shade, but how it melted into the skin and how it, it sank into the skin, it's really good. Pores are minimized with this balm, but actually it almost looks the same on both sides. Just a little bit less visible pores here, but I love this foundation so far. If this is going to wear really beautifully during the day, I'm definitely ordering a light shade, a lighter shade, and maybe mix these two, that lighter shade with this to make it more my kind of shade, but I really enjoy this. So I am going to go in with the Tarte. This is the new Tarte Sculpt Tape. And it was is supposed to be like a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury's. Uh, and this is in cool bronze contour stick. And I really like the Charlotte Tilbury's, but I don't think it's worth really that much of the hype and the price. So I hope this one will work better. And deliver is really fast from the tarts website so let's go i think i should ow oh, my arm where do i continue doing that there it comes okay let's go in uh, oh brush let's take out the brush i actually don't need brushes but i fell in love in this brush especially the color i love gold and it just look beautifully beautiful so i had to buy it I am going to look so tan with this foundation. I love how this foundation is looking on my skin. If you don't look at the color, I just enjoy how this foundation looks on my skin. Let's go in with the brush. Ooh, really nice brush. It's definitely blending nice. It's not too pigmented. Uh, could definitely, it's definitely going to be more visible on the lighter foundation. This is a maybe too dark foundation. It's blending like a dream. I love the brush and I love the stick. Maybe not as pigmented as I thought it would be. So I need to build it up. And I think this is not the lightest shade. I think this is the second shade from light second lightest shade i think let's just build it up so this foundation is warm and contour is cool so i'm looking a little bit gray but the product is amazing and the foundation is amazing just the wrong color i'm loving both of them may definitely going to use more of this on this Love it. Okay, let's use some uh, concealer and light up everything here. Oh my God, my face looks so beautiful. I'm loving the foundation. I'm loving the contour. The, the, this is definitely a best concealer if you want high coverage. I love it. Uh, foundation looks amazing. It is, I know, too dark. I won't say it anymore, but I'm loving how it looks on my skin, how it smoothed everything. Perfect. I'm going to go in with the powder. Let's use some brush to set first. I'm going to go in this face and bake, bake and, br bake and blend brush from Huda Beauty just slightly use it under the eyes to set this oh wow definitely blurring it definitely blurred everything I'm going to go use a, use a sponge to see if I 
how it goes if I use a sponge to press it in. Definitely blurring powder. Oh. I love it. And let me just say, I can't see any difference. I don't know if you can see any difference on the camera, but using this on this side, I can't see any difference on my face, uh, the powder smoothed everything out. So we'll see if this is going to be more uh, poor, a little bit poor feeling, but also will make my face maybe less oily. We'll see, maybe I should use more of this product under my, um, under my foundation. I will have to play with this product a little bit more. But I am going to use a big fluffier brush and use this powder and just set whole face. I'm going to go in Fenty Beauty bronzer. This is in shade three, Private Island. And I'm going to go in with this Manon, I can't pronounce this brand. This brush, this is my bronzer brush. For the blush, I am going to go in with the with this Dior blush. This is the pink Dior Backstage Rosy Glow blush. And this is the Kaya Cosmetics number F15 brush. For the highlighter, I am going to go in with this Amorazian Pretty Little Thing. Highlighter, this is in shade 3, Pink Princess. It's more pink and I think it will be nice with this... What it's called? The blush. I'm going into the palette again and I'm going to go in with this Rachel Ricky. I can't pronounce the shade. But I'm going to go in with that shade, just that and blend it under the eyes or on the lower lash line. Then we're going to take a very light pointy brush and I'm going to try this Biscuit light color. Let's see if we can light it up here. I'm going to go in with this Gimp Brow Volumizing Pencil from Benefit. I'm just fill in my brows a little bit. So the eyes and the face are done. Really like this. I'm going to go and set the face. I think we used... No, no, no. I forgot. I forgot. Sorry, guys. I forgot to use this House Labs... Intense Echo Liner, white matte, and I'm going to go in the, into my waterline. Now I need to come closer to a mirror because I um, can't see from far. And I need to put the eye, my, help myself with the putting, trying to fill it in. So just a second. So it's really creamy. I had to go in twice with it, uh, but I feel... We'll see if it's going to hold on the whole day. Where is the cap? Yeah, if it's going to hold the whole day, how it's going to wear the whole day. But so far, so good. I'm going to set everything and I'm going to give, use Max Fix Stay Over Setting Spray. I really like this setting spray. Okay, so let's try this mascara now. Uh, I'm curious. I'm curious. I'm going to use number one. Try to open it with right hand. Okay, so this is how the, this one looks. Number one. That's interesting. Okay, it's definitely making my lashes longer and separates them. 
Okay, this is my lashes only with number one. I will, won't do this other eye. I'm actually going to go in in number two and just see how this is going to look with both of these. Okay, the number two is more like this curved brush. Let's go in with it. Oh, wow. I really hope this will... I really hope this won't smudge because look at my lashes. It looks like falsies, natural falsies. I know if it shows like that on my... Let me just zoom in a little bit. Can you see this? Only with one coat of number one and two. Oh, I'm loving this. I'm so picky when it comes to mascaras because my lashes usually uh, get very oily and everything melts down after a day of wear, but let's do the other eye. So this is only with one coat of this mascara, but I did build up the first coat a lot. Now it looks really good. I'm going to try to remove it after, I'm just going to let it dry down first. Um, but I am going to go in with the lip liner. Wait, what do I have? I do have a couple of things in here. What is this? This is the long wear looks matte color that stays put on your lips. This is the shade liquid lipstick in in Get Real, and I do have a lip lip uh, same kind of lipstick in Yes B. I won't say the whole word, but we are going to use the bright pink. It's the one I really am scared of, and it's nothing that I usually wear. I do like red, plummy shades, but I do have a lip liner too. And I do want to kind of try it myself and see. I really like it in my eyes. It turned out beautifully. And my arms is starting to... Uh, using this arm a little bit too much now during the video this video and it hurts like hell let me use the lip liner i'm scared it's too bright But this lip liner is really, really good. I mean, it's really creamy and nice, but not too creamy. My lips are dry, so this will definitely test the lipstick. Let's go in the lipstick. Oh, my arm. Okay. I don't know if this is going to suit me at all, but... So it doesn't cover my lips. Oh my God, I look so funny with this color. Let me know down below what do you think if this color suits me or not. But I feel like I maybe need to let it dry and go on with another coat because it's not... A... <laughs> I look so funny. Oh my God, it definitely doesn't suit me. I don't think so. Uh, it feels comfortable on the lips right now. I can feel it because I try to build it up. Um, but it looks a little bit patchy. I don't know if you can see, it's a little bit patchy, it doesn't cover everything, but we let it dry. Let me just say that this mascara is not really easy to remove when it dries down, but this is the... Let's, let's go in with the second coat. Mm, I don't know, I don't know. I'm not really a big fan of this, uh, I, I like the color, I think it's fun. I don't know if just if that suits me, but I'm just making it thicker and more uneven. Oh my God, I look like a Barbie doll. Uh, but I'm liking, uh, so this is the final look. I'm liking how everything turned out on my face and on my eyes. I really enjoy these products. Uh, I think they look stunning. Now, I think I had everything that I tried today that I wanted to try. The foundation looks, it's now 11, 11 a.m. And I'm going to wear this the whole day. 
also wear the lip and see if it's going to wear off and how it's going to look. I do like the color. I think it looks really cool, but I don't think it suits me. Uh, the foundation is definitely too dark, but I really like how it is, look, is looking on my skin. It looks so even and beautiful. And the cream contour looks nice. Powder is amazing. I'm really happy with the products. If I like this foundation and it wears all whole day, I'm definitely buying the lighter color because this looks just stunning. Really stunning. Really stunning. Okay, so I'm going to go off with my day and see you soon. You in seconds, but actually I will let the whole day go and I'll tell you how it, how I feel about it. So see you soon. Hi, welcome back. Let's remove our glasses. So, okay. It's been how many hours? Seven hours since I did my makeup. And this is how it, it looks. I do look shiny, definitely. Uh, but my makeup look, ow, my hand. But my makeup looks flawless. The foundation haven't worn off anywhere except, of course, where I had my glasses, but everything looks really, really good. I do look shiny. I do look coily. I feel like I need to um, mattify that a little bit, but I really enjoy how everything looks. It didn't oxidize. The color was really, really well, but it didn't oxidize. So I really enjoy the foundation. Definitely buying the lighter shade because this is not a uh, right shade for me, but it is really, really nice. I love the foundation. It's really good. Okay, so we clear the foundation. Let's go to the next product. Now, did you use the Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow primer? So if you have really oily eyelids, like I do, this is how it works. Now, I did set this side with powder, and this one I didn't set. So let's see. Here, there is still very it's still very even though it start creasing just a little bit so i mean six seven hours that's really good this one has creased much much more uh still looks fine but it definitely creased so which means i need to set it so but i do like it i will continue playing with it and see how it's going to wear um or c continue wearing but let's go to the next product mascara okay so it did you know flake a little bit and it definitely did transfer i don't know if you can see my arm i can't use it i don't know if you can see here black spots and that's mascara and here it's the mascara so it's a bummer i don't like that uh my lashes look really really good but i won't wear this to my work because I do not want to look like a raccoon of the day. So I do like this mascara, but not maybe for my working days. <laughs> the lipstick. Lip liner is there. Lipstick is definitely, it's dry, but it's not drying. It doesn't feel drying at the lips. It is matte. Uh, it looks really cracky, but I've been eating. The lip liner is still there. I really enjoy the lip liner. Uh, I got some compliments on my lipstick color. People think it works for me. Uh, when I say people, my family. <laughs> but uh, it doesn't look good. I mean, it looks cra cracky. I will definitely need to uh, remove this and reapply. Now, as you can see, it gathered here in the center. Uh, and it's definitely cracky. But I will try, continue play with it, use it when I film. Maybe use it in the summer, but maybe prime my lips a little bit better. Uh, so I do like the lip liner lipstick not that much. Maybe it's this color. I have another one that's more nude. I will try that lip lip uh, lipstick too. Uh, the powder I really enjoy the powder. It definitely uh, made my foundation maybe wear better. Uh, even if I had glasses, it didn't wear off a lot. Uh, I really like this. Made my skin look really nice and smooth. I really enjoy the powder. Uh, the foundation I also really enjoy. I really enjoy the foundation. It's really good. So there are some uh, hits and misses for this video. Uh, then this one, Trini, what it's called, Mir Miracle Blur. 
I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I need to use it more. Maybe apply a little bit more of the product. I didn't see big difference. I not as big difference as I did with my tart tarts one that I don't know where it is and it's so old I can't even use it. But this one is I was hoping for more. I'm a little bit disappointed. You get really little product, four grams and it costs a lot. So I don't know if I will repurchase it. It. So I don't really recommend that product, but I will continue play it, play with it. And if I change my mind, I will definitely definitely update you in another video. But the makeup still looks fine. Uh, need some touch-ups, but I still love how my face makeup looks. I really, really enjoy the Tarte cream product. It is just terrific. I'm in love with it. I really, really enjoy I think this and the foundation and the Tarte's brush on my hand. These two were definitely the winners of this video. I love them, um, really enjoy them, and continue playing with them. So let me know down below if you try these products. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.